So I got these chicken livers and I was like, what better way can I make this? So I decided to make a simple curry-ish stew that is just freestyled. So here it goes. I started by heating up some olive oil and then went on with my chicken livers that were washed and clean. And the idea was to just get them uh, fried and really cooked on both sides. Now, the reason I don't actually like chicken livers is because of their texture. They are too soft for my liking. It's just, it's like too mushy for absolutely no reason. Anyway, as always, I go on ahead to sprinkle some salt, which is going to trigger the water to actually get out of the meats, whichever meats I'm going to be cooking in this way. And yeah, so it's the usual. And I am going to stir, making sure all the sides are cooked. I also washed them a lot. <laughs> But anyway, now here they have cooked, which took me a minute because I didn't drain all that water. So I am going to remove the chicken livers and I'm going to stay with a pan. Oh, by the way, my name is Rita and I'm the cooking nurse. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please take this chance or this opportunity as I add some butter on my pan to do subscribe as it's free. And, you know, it helps us reach more audiences, which in turn helps us make more revenue, which then helps us stay in business and also stay posting these beautiful videos so anyway once the butter is melted i use the clarified butter which is ghee the cooked ghee uh which i sell by the way and once it's melted i added on some white onion now this wasn't going to be cooked for so long so i wanted something which was going to like be sweet ish and yeah complement the whole stew so of course the liver has kind of burnt at the bottom but this is not like really really burnt so it's some flavor there i'm going to go on add some little bit of water after sauteing the onions in the little fat that was on top and then i'm going to try to deglaze the bottom it's not going to be easy but yeah so make sure you're cooking on really uh, low to medium heat once this is done the onions have blended in with the flavors and they are kind of brownish i'm going to use a uh, tomato paste if you have fresh tomatoes you can grate them you can blend them or you can have your homemade tomato paste or sauce and yeah go in with that and then i'm going to go uh, on and add some sauces i didn't measure this one uh but i estimate it to be about half a, a tablespoon the actual tablespoon yeah so about 7.5 mils and then about the same amount of superior light soy sauce the chicken livers are mild the flavor is not so intense and also it's white meat so we are using white soy sauce as def by default so you're going to go on ahead and deglaze the pan now there's more liquid so it's softer to go off and it's so flavorful by the way so i will go on and add some chicken seasoning cube i added in some cumin powder i added in some thyme like dry thyme thyme is a herb and then i'm adding in some paprika and i think that's all we are going to mix our spices properly well and then from this stage i am going to add in my coconut milk uh you can use coconut cream if you want but the coconut milk worked perfectly add that in and mix it properly making sure everything is uniform making sure the whole pan is deglazed otherwise the more it stays on the heat when it's not deglazed the more it's going to get burnt and you don't want that because you don't want the flavor not to be uniform yeah so look at how delicious this already looks like and i love the chunks from the onions because then there's some texture to the sauce anyway now i've returned the chicken livers back into the pan and i'm going to mix these properly making sure everything is well coated or at least into the sauce so that you know it's it's a good and uniform flavor now i let it simmer for a, for a while if you can tell right now the the, the sauce looks quite thick i'm going to go in with my bell peppers because i don't want them to overcook yeah and i also want them to stay vibrant and that's it test for seasoning and let it simmer for a few minutes if you have coriander go on ahead and garnish and this goes so well with plain rice or chapati or naan it was such a good dish in the end and i hope you try it bye